Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to our next particular playthrough, Oracle of Ages, for the Game Boy Color. So, um, for those of you that don't know, and that should be all of you at this point, Cloud is the one that actually asked me to do this one, and this is because that Cloud wanted me to play a Legend of Zelda game blind. But, unfortunately for him, I had already played this one for a review channel way back when. I do like this game, but, um, yeah, I have a lot of problems with it. You didn't grow up with it is the problem. Indeed, I did not grow up with it. But here we have our carpenter demon. Unfortunately, <laughs> after, sa after saving the after saving the princess and all and all of the both light and and dark world and link to the past, he has come to check on the triangles, only to realize that the triangles are being dicks to him and are teleporting over across the land to Librina, which is somewhere else on the planet of. You know, this planet doesn't have a fucking name. I believe this is called Hyrule. But no, the planet is not called Hyrule. That's what kingdom that's, that is on the planet. Um, I don't know what the planet is called, now that you mention Let's it. Let's just call it Terra, because yes. Sure, Terra. Um, Labrina is a sub-kingdom of Hyrule? It's part of Hyrule, but it, it is just, it's, it's sort of like its own municipality, I suppose. And here we see the triangles t actually teleporting us. I think Except our quest hero, because we're forcing you to this area un unequipped and everything. I wonder if that was the first time the Triforce actually talks to Link. Mm. So, because this is partially blind, um, I do spend quite a lot of this first part just wandering around and not doing the things that you're supposed to. Well, I mean, we do have to get past the opening cutscenes first. Yes. I am Demon, the Carpenter. Wait, I forgot. Did you put your message speed on 3 or 5? Five? 5. Yay. I'm looking for a singer named Nehru. Hmm. Interestingly enough, Nehru is actually a deity's name. What a coincidence. Um, I'm not sure... I'm, I'm not sure what the connection is between Nehru and... Um... And, and the and the goddess uh, Nehru. They're the same person. But why would the goddess take on a human form like this, and why would this human form be so vulnerable? Mm, to be perfectly honest, because plot. Oh, it's okay, Amp. I understand you can't do that. You're weak, frail, and incredibly fat. By the way, you can push that rock to either side and it will remain in that position for the remainder of the game. Now, this part actually was confusing to me because I talked to all the persons and then and then nobody moved. So I ended up wandering around a bit. Yeah, it's not really clear exactly how to get through this invisible wall. So, I mean, I, I suppose, like, you don't really have any other options here. So it's like, what else can you do except talk to everybody again? Move out of my what way. What you're supposed to do is talk to the bear twice. Uh, I think that's a... Uh, oh, God, what are they called? Kiki keys? I don't, I don't know what those monkeys are called. Oh, is it the bear that lets you go in? Yeah, it's the bear. Oh, I thought it was a monkey. No. Alright. Yep. Okay, move your ass. Sit here and listen. How charming. And then we just... And then not only do we, you know, uh, replace his spot, we actually go a, a bit forward. That is Nehru. She is incredibly pretty. Yeah, she's pretty and she has a lovely singing voice that can produce colorful notes in midair. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Impa, you're acting a bit weird. Yeah, you wanted to see her. How come you're kind of, you know... N Hi, Ralph. I'm sure that there are no time paradox in this game involving you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, I mean, we'll, we'll get into that. This game is a little messy with the time travel logic, especially with uh, the, the Black Tower construction that, admittedly, you know, I even realized as a kid that it didn't make any fucking sense. I feel like something evil is about to happen. By the way, I'm still singing and talking at the same time. Uh-oh. The dungeon music. You are correct. 
Not, not bad for a diva. Not bad for Neru, Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes! Oh. Behold the primary villain of this game, Black Smoke. Uh, I believe this is the same sprite they used in Link's Awakening. Oh, okay, this is... For the nightmares? Is Possibly. You allowed me to pass through the secret barrier. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh. I am Varan, Sorceress of Shadows. Boobies. Why is my voice a do? I don't know. Boobies. <laughs> no, seriously. Gerda, have you ever seen an artist's illustration of what Varan actually looks like? Mm, no, but I have a feeling that that's a good thing. She's fucking hot! <laughs> of course she's hot. She's evil! And then, of course, she turns into a giant spider. I mean, um, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Aren't you brave? Turning a sword at me. If you cut me, it's Naru who dies! Ooh, they said the D word. Yes. Naru is no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Oh now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. I'll choose to go back approximately 100 years in the past and effect almost nothing. 400 years. Oh. It takes that long for the damn tree to grow? Uh, yeah. A tree grows in Brooklyn. It took a whole generation. Dude, a generation is 20 is 20 years. Okay, so this yeah, this whole sequence is to establish that some serious fucking shit is happening. Yeah, because we're all messes with the timeline, a lot of people like get seriously injured and turn to stone slash aged. Um but what really but what this really does is makes the makes the population of monkeys just fade away and all the rabbits turn to stone. Oh god. Oh, Jesus, she got all of them. Oh, and this one child. This is, yeah, I, this is pretty sad. This is sad, but then again, you can't do anything oh. for this child throughout the rest of the game. See, it just happens. Can't you see what you're fighting for? Not really, no, it's a small child. Oh yeah, by the way, Varan, thanks for leaving the time portal open so we could follow you. Yeah, and that will never again happen. <laughs> I honestly wish that, that particular mechanic stayed, but it doesn't. Oh, and now we get to see Ralph be Superman. I'll save you! Neru! Oh, I thought he actually jumped up the cliff. My bad. So, before this game came out, rather, before I played this game, I did not know that possession was a thing. Yeah, possession is a thing that happens all the damn time in, in Legend of Zelda. Agane is possessed by the spirit of Ganon. Uh, uh, Veron uh, possesses Nehru. And I think the equivalent of Veron actually possess, possesses uh, a Feor. Is, is it Feor? Feror? I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it's actually Feror. Is it? It's not. Then it would have to be Din. No, it's Din, it's Din Nehru, and Feror. So, yeah, the Veron's, equi Veron's equivalent in uh, Seasons actually possesses Din. No. No. On Onyx, gen General... Oh, God. Onyx. General Onyx um, is the main antagonist in uh, Oracle of Seasons. Um, okay. he, does, he doesn't possess Din. He imprisons her. Ah, uh, all right. My bad, then. Oh, it's okay. You've never played, you've never played Seasons. Yes, I have. I've played Seasons up to Dungeon 6. Really, you have nothing more important to tell me than something I already know. Yeah. We'll be back in this house later. There's a thing that we need in it. How unfortunate that the character that was supposed to give me my first item, period, was possessed. Now, I will be spending a lot of time off-screen uh, gra grabbing uh, rupees, uh, small pieces of heart. Well, not pieces of heart, mind you, but healing and, you know, extraneous items. But, um... Yeah, I, sp I show a lot of it on screen, too. Okay. Um, I apologize for this, but, uh, uh, this is for, this is mainly because I was playing this mostly blind. It had been a full, a full year or two since I last played this game. Yeah, 
yeah, there's there's a lot of... Especially the way the game is set up, because you gotta go screen by screen, so you end up traveling too far in one direction, find out you have to turn around, there's a hole. But now I'm down to only one option left, which is to actually go to town. Um, oh, I noticed you haven't opened the map up yet. Yeah, um, I'm scared to open the map, because my, I, I, I'm not playing this legitimately, shock and awe. So, my emulator has this tendency of crashing when it, whenever I'm on one of the sub, sub menus for this. Fire hot! Um, well that, oh, that's. So, wait, we never see the map? We do see the map, but uh, don't expect me to see, to see the dungeon map all that often, because the, uh, the dungeon map has got a much higher chance of crashing I see. on me. Um, yeah, the, the world map starts off entirely blacked out and it's 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 comprised of like hundreds hundreds of squares i'm not sure exactly how well, many not hundreds i think it's 100 honestly no that's no it's it's way more than 100 mm, it might be two but it's not all that many it might be i i'd say less than 400 it's most certainly less than 400 you got a box Yes, it can hold one ring. I never I never figured out how to actually equip my rings in this playthrough. Are you kidding me, Gerdad? <laughs> rings are the most useful thing in this game. No, they're not, especially since I don't get all that many. There there are so many powerful rings. Oh yes, there are insanely powerful rings. Shame I never learned how to equip them. <laughs> oh god. I think I'm starting to I think I'm starting to understand what kind of place we're worth. <laughs> oh, if you if you're if you're pissed at me, never never forget how to equip rings. You're gonna be really pissed at me when it comes to the other collectibles. <laughs> See, now that it's actually in my box, I don't do anything with it. The friend, well, the friendship ring does nothing. This is true, but I will, but I'm supposed to figure out from here to actually go back into my inventory and actually equip the ring. Be sim simply because it's in the ring box doesn't it means it's not actually on me. I'm Glenn. I'm the mayor here. Lena has a long history, reaching back hundreds of years. Back then, it was Lena Village, not a city. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I get that treasure ch that uh, particular treasure chest. It's pretty easy to forget because you have to come back to it very, very late. After in the Dungeon game. Six, Seven. Set really Seven. You, yeah, you need the hookshot extension in order to get that. Damn. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. This is the first dungeon, and there's nothing to fear here. Seriously, this is literally a straight line. <laughs> I know. It's it's like this. It's like a fucking museum. Although there's no danger here. Hello, giant talking tree. Yes, I am the Maker Tree, guardian of Labrina. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. I'm so happy. Can't you see that? Oh, I had too much to drink. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm having the Dumbo effect. You know. Yes. You see, Veron actually goes out of her goes out of her way to stop uh, to stop the growth of the Mako tree in the past one time. <laughs> what do you mean one time? Once. She only attacks the Mako tree once. Yes. But, but well, that's because she would she realized the futility of her action as soon as Link goes back to intervene. Here's here's another thing. We don't ever time travel to the same spot. Well, the same spot in the time stream, at least. Well, what are you talking about? Well, it, I'll, I'll explain a bit more the more we interact with the Mako Tree. I also find it very weird that the Mako Tree was actually experiencing the act of, like, the past reaching up and, and killing her. It doesn't make any fucking sense. This is true. Because the past already happened. And here we are in, La in Labrina Village. Labrina Village. Lena Village, sorry. It's a contraction of Labrina, I understand that mistake. 
And in the next part, we'll continue exploring. And talk to all the people. They're all dead now.